So this is Australia with a reading for the collective. Take what resonates throughout the rest. There's something going on here with this group. This could be a celebration, a group of people happy together, society, some gathering, a gathering together. Um, it could be a third party situation as well. I'm not really sure. Uh, watch out for scammers soliciting you in the comments for readings. That's not me. What do we need to know? So, there's some issue with a masculine energy who is in charge. Um, someone failed to lead. Or someone's worried about this masculine energy who is a leader. Um, it says war on this deck, on this card, but this is the Emperor. So this could be someone who's very auth auth <laughs> authoritarian. So, um, or weak. You know, too much control. magician under the deck, I mean, in the subconscious, so this has to do with, wow, so this has to do with some sort of dark, lower vibrational energy, someone was manipulating something, is that in this person's subconscious. In the recent past, there's been someone who's been just very, like, weighted down, it's been hard to see see the goal there's been a lot of baggage um a lot of weight on someone's shoulders um something something they, they need to let go of something though someone's gonna someone knows that um karma's playing out karma is playing out um or they're gonna be part of this karma they're going to deal with karma. They're going to help help create justice. This is uh, willpower. This is personal personal strength. Um, a strong spirit, an inner spirit that's very strong to deal with this justice or this karma, or to participate in creating uh, a balance out of in some situation. A, it could be a group of people, a group of people working together because there's been someone here who's been operating maybe out of their ego or out of control, and they are, they are working together to have the inner strength to create justice from an injustice. Or they they're, they participated in something and they've got to deal with justice themselves. They feel like, but they're they're part they are feeling like they're they're getting getting themselves ready some sort of confusion about their options in their near future but this could also be a party scene or something like that or or figuring out options some confusion needing some, some fog fog needing to take a step back uh in regards to someone from the past where there's unconditional love or some nostalgia um, or this could be a child as well, or someone from the past coming back. I feel like there was something else that wanted to come out here. Yeah. This could have to do with news or a message, some sort of a message in regards to someone from the past where there's unconditional love um, or a child. So this has to do with whatever this is, is looking at the wheel. They're looking at karma or destiny playing out. They can see it very, very clearly. Um, Four of Wands is also significant with this. So this is pretty big here. Someone is having, someone has a lot of clarity, whoever this is, about a situation. This per person can, can see the bigger picture. Um, there's some sort of faded event that's happening in this person's life. I mean, dealing with justice and the Wheel of Fortune, 
is pretty big. This person is directly seeing seeing this happen in their life. They're seeing a grand design playing out, some sort of karma mixed with fated events, and mixed with this Four of Wands. This is my Eden on Earth card. This has to do with milestones, celebrations, a happy home, sense of wellness. This is the type of energy where it's like anything is possible or just feels very good. Um, this is my 1111 card as well, so it's like a twin flame connection. Um, this could also just have to do with like, it's a celebration, but it's not like this three of cups celebration. This is like, it's a structured, structured environment that feels celebratory, warm. So there's something faded in regards to the capacity for, for this energy in someone's life that someone is witnessing. There's something huge. Someone could be... This could have to do with, like, being made aware of, or this person's already aware of, something to do with a pattern and connection to... This is, like, awakening energy, maybe, or, or this person is seeing something different about the, the world or their universe. Some, about something being faded, a faded connection or a faded environment, something to do with the home. But this is beautiful. It's like, it's also beautiful. It's, it's not scary. It's positive. It's something about seeing a grand design in connection to the structured environment, a blessing even. This is a feeling of having had arrived. So it's like the possibility for this Eden on earth or being part of something bigger or witnessing something bigger. It's like a miracle. This feels like miracle a little. So we have Knight of Cups in the environment. So someone is coming across as if they're very um, congenial, kind. They could be making a gesture to someone. They could be feeling very romantic about something. I mean, with the Six of Cups here, this could be someone who's feeling a lot of love about someone from the past. They're seeing this person as like some sort of like, it's like Adam and Eve. It's seeing, seeing something big here. Something big. Um, I feel like they feel like something went awry because of some manipulation. Really lower vibrational stuff. Um, something about marrying someone here. Or someone being in charge of an institution, this Queen of Pentacles. Someone is hoping for, or marrying someone, or someone's in charge of something that's significant. Outcome is Five of Wands, so some sort of conflict or competition in regards to in, in regards to this person's stance. We have, we have Nine of Swords under the deck. So this is like a nightmare or someone's having a lot of anxiety. I feel like someone's having an awakening about something or they, they're realizing something, maybe about a third party situation or there's this group here or there's some people celebrating something, but there's someone here who failed to lead. Someone failed to lead with this group. Someone's seeing something, they're gonna have to have the inner strength to deal with karma or justice, or they want to. Someone, I feel like someone's choosing, choosing like the light or choosing to work in, in tandem with the universe, the design, the grand design, they feel like there's something there to that. There's something beautiful here. It's like otherworldly. They can see it. Um, 
and but I feel like I feel like where that five of wands is coming from is there's justice playing out so I don't know if that's like this person is raising their vibration and now they, they can't help it I mean, what you can't unsee this <laughs> this can't be unseen this cannot be unseen yeah um and so then once you see this and once the person saw sees this and un and has like a different understanding with this like other layer of awareness of something and is now intending on living this balance and having the spirit, the strong spirit, to live in this light, to get out of this anxiety and potentially this this heartache. Um, I feel like what's going to happen is is that like they're going to end up with the same, you know. It's the, it's the tension of feeling like attacked because attention or conflict from living in the light. I mean, that's, I'm just going to clarify because it's like, that's, I hate, I hate for that to be how I'm interpreting, interpreting that, but it's kind of true. So five of wands, why is the outcome five of wands for this person who's choosing to live in the upright? I don't want to say live, live in the upright. I mean ascend, ascend, or match this energy that they're they're seeing some kind of a miracle. They want to step up, and it's beautiful. Uh, why is five of wands there as the outcome for this person? Something about influence. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's like because I feel like It's, I feel like, if I'm understanding this correctly, this person is going to end up with, like, they feel like they failed to lead or someone failed to lead. So now leading is going to give them a sense of, like, empowerment with this energy. If they stick with this energy, but then yielding that, that influence, there's going to be other energies that want to fight, fight them for it or something like that. Is that what I'm understanding correctly? What's going on here? Yeah. It's like heading towards this fulfillment because it's like receiving. It's it's the energy of allowing. It's raising the vibration to receive this energy, to live in this energy. It's like 5D. <laughs> to be in 5D energy. Living in that space. Like not going to the shadowy energy to receive, going to the lighter energy to receive ascension receiving here but then it's like someone wants to compete for this fulfillment it's like a new layer of you know competition or rivalry something about charity it's about being very given giving but it's also about being protected as well yeah someone's like making this bold choice to like live their best self or something like that yeah it's really good um, let me just clarify what's going on with this Three of Cups and this fight between this group, society, something about someone not leading. And then that you've got this dark energy, the subconscious, something feels manipulated. Yeah, these people are under adjudication, or someone wants to do, someone wants justice in this group. They're choosing justice. They've been really weighed down by this. They've been weighed down by something. Let me see what's going on with this emperor, this war energy. Some kind of a message about this person going around or something like that. Someone, someone wants to, um, they want the inner spirit to move forward to deal with this justice, whatever this is, sending a message or Something about a message, sending a message or having the strength. It, this is all about inner spirit. Something about poverty or not having money in the near future, sending a message. 
they can't stop thinking about this wheel of fortune and this four of wands. Yeah, someone is really seeing something here. Why is... Tell me about this fulfillment, influence, five of wands. Someone's like trying to compete with them for something. Bad health. Someone's in bad health or someone's trying to beat them down or what's going on. Yeah, this per like I said, this person's on their pathway. So it's like pretty protected and like they see it. They see it. They see it. They're seeing it. They're seeing it. This is like ascension, awakening energy. Someone's seeing something really beautiful. This path is opening up really beautiful for them. This is, this leads to fulfillment. And then it just, there's some people, I feel like that bad health, is like just dealing with a lot of the same thing that, yeah, it's like energy vampire, <laughs> essentially dealing, like choosing the, this path. It's really beautiful. Uh, this is their North node heading towards their North node. Yeah, it's beautiful. There's something here though, there, yeah, there's going to be competition or like contrarian energy trying to knock them off their path, like energy vampires stuff. I mean, I feel like that's, yeah, that's, that's what that is. So it's pretty specific, whoever this is, but it's pretty, it's a good, it's a good reading. I think not to be afraid of this because ultimately their path is their path. And it's, yeah, it's either deal with justice and balance and have a strong inner spirit or, or not. So yeah, like see the grand design. It's like once you see it, you can't unsee it. So that's beautiful. If you resonate with this message, I hope that it helps and I'll see you on the next read. Bye.